My name is Gabriel Von Heter, and today I am fulfilling a promise I made to the soldiers at the detachment that when I got out and left the rest of them behind, I would make a Welcome to Fort Meade, Maryland video, aka What is AIT like for 25 Mikes, Victors, Romeos, and 46 Sierras? Because I find that despite the hundreds and hundreds of soldiers that go through Fort Meade, Maryland, um, to qualify in multimedia production, no multimedia production has been created um, for this place that we spend so much time at. So I guess this video applies to most branches and MOSs, um, but I went to Fort Meade, so that's what this video is about. Attachment. And despite the constant room for improvement, I felt that morale stayed pretty high along with the quality of life. As a matter of fact, I asked some of the soldiers how they felt during one of our corrective action episodes. This company has a lot of issues, <laughs> but one of them is being not disciplined. <laughs> That's why we're cleaning everything. <laughs> it's indicative of a strong detachment that, despite punishment and corrective action, the soldiers do what they can to keep up their morale. <laughs> um, in addition to the time you wait to start class and whether or not you get recycled. Um, how is class? Class is pretty great. For 25 Mikes, Victors, and 46 Sierras, it's mostly the same as we all take the same six month course. Um, and then the different classes will take separate courses after the six month course, um, kind of honing in on their speciality. For Mikes, graphic design, Victors, um, combat photography, and for 46 Sierras, you don't get a specialization. Um, you just kind of go off to your unit or home or whatever. I don't know. Um, and then if you're a Romeo, it's different, completely different, where the aforementioned MOSs um, are all sort of based in public affairs and responding to inquiries and writing papers and producing content. Uh, a Romeo's job is to understand math and computers and wiring and how to fix stuff. Um, you know, everyone else produces stuff. Romeos, they fix it if it breaks. Um, another thing about class is that they literally give you the answers to the test beforehand, breaking down what points you'll get for different areas of an assignment. For example, they, um, just before you take the test, they'll give you a sheet of paper, right? A sheet of paper, they'll send you a link. Different teachers do it differently. Um, some teachers hate trees, some teachers love trees. Uh, regardless, they'll give you the sheet, right? And it'll be like five points for doing a title, um, 10 points. Um, for making your video between 15 and 30 seconds. Um, 10 points for not using these words. Fort Meade, Maryland and the Defense Information School is designed not to make you fail, but to make you pass. Uh, the curriculum is very thorough and the tests I wouldn't say are easy, but again, they give you the tools to succeed. Drink the Kool-Aid, but leave a little bit for yourself at the bottom. So my drill sergeant at basic told me. Yeah, he said drink the Kool-Aid, but make sure you leave a little bit at the bottom. And that's how you'll get through. That's how you play the game. That's my advice. Now, what does your schedule look like um, during the week, at least for the Army Detachment at Fort Meade, Maryland? Monday through Friday, your focus is class, schoolwork, etc. But yeah, Saturdays, uh, you'll typically do warrior tasks and battle drills. And it's rare that those go past noon. Um, every once in a while to go a little bit longer um, but typically you know you're done by noon and you have from noon on Saturday until like 5 p.m. on Sunday to just kind of do whatever you want um, within reason obviously uh, but they, they pretty much leave you alone they're they're pretty the detachment is pretty good about that because they understand um, that the soldiers um, and the students uh, they need time to not only study but also to decompress and have time for themselves, which I greatly appreciate it, um, let's be honest. Um, an infantry MOS would have been much different. 
Um, I don't have a lot else to say. I think I painted a pretty solid picture of what your weeks uh, look like at Fort B. Maryland. And like I said, don't count the days, don't count the weeks, don't count the months. Only make things harder. Because if you make it to your projected ETS date, right, when you leave, and you're not leaving, it can be terrible for morale. And I try to tell people that, right? Manage expectations. Um, expect the worst. Always expect the worst. And if the worst doesn't happen, great. And if it does happen, you are ready for it. Um, I find too often that people are like, oh yeah, it's great here. You'll leave here, you know, before you know it. And then those things don't happen. And when those things don't happen, it makes you feel worse. And rather feel great for a little bit and then terrible for a while, I like to mediate, you know, manage expectations from the beginning, right? You know, your, your, your leave date might be a month or two longer than you expected. Um, but it's not a big deal. You're going to class, you're getting paid. You're not a, at a unit, you're not getting deployed. You know, you're chilling. Just be ready for that. Be ready to chill. Chill. Or leave early. I don't know, the classes are changing. They're cutting classes again. They're, they're changing the lengths of everything. Um, you could leave early or later. Who knows? I don't know. But your rejected leave date, it's not gonna happen. And if it does happen, holy cow. I don't know what to tell you. My name is Jules. I run the Fort Meade food truck. Um, we serve pretty much American comfort food. So burgers, fries, hot dogs, chicken tenders, um, some fried Spanish food like chimichangas, quesadillas. Um, then of course we have snacks, drinks, energy drinks, and pastries. My advice is to eat at the DFAC and save all your money because then you can buy something cool like the camera I'm filming this on, or a car, or whatever, I don't know. Food is a lot of money, and the defect, it's free. At least, right now it's free, um, at the time of recording this. And if it isn't free, it's still cheaper than the alternative, you know, um, but there's a food truck, and there's a coffee shop inside the school, so you have options um, for not eating at the defect, because I know that the defect is old. Just don't abuse it, really easy to abuse it. I know people that would spend like, 40 50 dollars a day there at either the truck or the coffee shop don't do that um try to find better options you know affordable options so yep here's a video i made it um only because i said i was going to and then i felt bad when i didn't make it so this is me clearing my conscience um so yeah if it helped like and comment um because interaction is great for youtube uh for the algorithm uh i don't care if you subscribe but yeah, that was it. Fort Meade, Maryland, um, USA SSD. The weather, it's wet. It's wet, um, wet air. Um, but you're at sea level, so breathing is easy. So that's cool. Um, and unlike basic training, you get to wear your cold weather gear. Um, so you're not cold all the time. Like I was in basic. Winter cycle, basic, cold, man. It's totally cold. But if it's summer, then it's hot. Uh, I don't know, it's weird. Um, but yeah, anywho. Um, I'm Gabriel Von Heater. Thanks for watching. I also wanted to like, flex my microphone. Seems cool, right? Road. Yeah, not sponsored. I wish I was sponsored. No one cares about me yet. Um, I don't really have a good way to end this. So I'll leave it on a cool picture I took at the detachment. I don't even know what it is yet. Um, goodbye. Have a great day. And it's Veterans Day as I'm recording this. So happy Veterans Day. Thank you, Sam. I'm just too worried for this.